all right good morning everybody i want to take you on a brief tutorial on how to enter a quick one shot trade first of all make sure that you're on the binance royal q trading signal group where the trade is the signal is being dropped on a daily basis if you're on the group for example let's go to the group so that i'll show you a typical example of one short trading signal let's go to the royal q binance signal group all right good this is a typical example of one short trading signal so when you see such trading signal you said one short buy current price hot matic reef btt you also said take profit two percent you also said we should don't we should not use more than 10 percent of our capital we should always have backup funds which means in case of our trade goes in deep we are going to have some backup funds so when you see this trading signal the next thing for you to do is to quickly go to the royal queue app and enter these trades so let's quickly go to our royal queue app and enter these trades All right, good. You are now a Royal Q app. Remember, when you want to enter a trade, where you're supposed to click is quantitative. When you click quantitative, pair of coins is going to pop up. So we ask us to take hot. Let's take hot for example. Hot, hot should be in profession, professional. So you click your professional and go to search bar and type hot. Okay, it has popped up. Good. When you click it, it will open in this format. When it opens, you go to trade settings. Click trade settings. When you click trade settings, you enter your first buy-in amount. Your first buy-in amount is the amount that you want to use to enter this particular trade. It doesn't have a standard. It is. It, it, it depends on your trading capital you enter it at your first buying amount my only showing 60 because the last hot trade i entered was with 60 usdt then you come down to your margin call limit since we are entering one short our margin call limit is going to be one so you type one our whole position take profit ratio is going to be two percent remember i said our take profit is two percent so you're going to type two percent then our whole position take profit callback is 0 0.3. In case of one short trade, trade, our whole position take profit callback doesn't really matter. So you can actually leave it at 0.3%. Then you go to your margin configuration. You click your margin configuration. Since we are entering one short trade, our first call is going to be one, which is 1%. Then our multiple buy-in ratio, since it's one shot, it's either you put one, but if you put one, it means that it's going to buy double of your first buy-in amount. I put, I set my own at 0 0.5 because I wanted to buy half of my first buy-in amount so that it will not take so much money from my trading capital. When we have set these parameters, the next thing to do is to click confirm. When you click confirm, our buy-in callback also in one short trade doesn't really matter. So by the time you have set your first buy-in amount, your margin call limit as 1, your whole position take profit ratio as 2%. The next thing to do is to click save. When you click save, remember I said we should buy current price. But for instance, it normally gives some trading um, signal that he drops normally have entry price if you see a trading signal like that that has entry price the next thing for you to do is to click our first preset buy in price when you click your first buy in your first preset buy in price you type the amount let's say for example 0 0.235 0.235 is the amount 
that he asked us to buy, we confirm it. But in a case where he, the signal does not have any entry amount, you leave your first preset buying price blank and click start to start the trade. Then, for example, the my hot USDT is already on one shot. But if it is not on one shot, you click on this cycle. When you click on this cycle, the trade is in cycle. Then for you to turn it to one shot back, you click on one shot. Make sure you always set it at one shot so that it will not keep on buying repeatedly for you. After you have clicked it to be one shot, the next thing for you to do is to click start and start your trade. So this is a simple guide on how to enter one shot trade. Thank you.